I tried to make an FM23 tactic with seven defenders at the back, and here is how it went. Johnny begins at Swindon Town, where he not only secured the top spot in Skybet League 2, but also achieved an astonishing feat by conceding just 27 goals. And that's not all, we clenched the Papa John's trophy as well. The challenge didn't stop there, we took our defensive prowess to Reading in Skybet League 1, where we tightened the screws even further, allowing just 21 goals to go in in the entire season. And of course, we claimed the top spot once again. Next, French powerhouse PSG. We conquered League One and the Trophy de Champion while conceding a jaw-dropping total of just 20 league goals. And lastly, our journey finally comes to an end with Ajax, where we continued our dominant defensive display, winning both the Dutch League and the Becker Cup and setting an all-time low record by conceding only 14 league goals. So let's break down this tactic and I want to quickly say this is the perfect time to drop a like on the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I also want to quickly thank all of the patrons Patreon's coming down the screen right now. Patreon is a great way to access all three of these files in one simple download. You get the default variant, the attack and variant, and a defensive variant, so that is three files for you guys. You get early tactic and video release. You get priority in the rebuild and tactic requests. You get one-on-one -on -one tactical help, and also you get enrolled to the monthly Patreon giveaway, which has recently just been announced the winner of. So definitely check it out. You can join by clicking the link in the description. But let's go ahead and talk about this tactic. So we're going to kick things off then with a sweeper keeper, which is simply going to be on the defense of instructions, not much risk allowed by this player at all. On the right hand side, we're going to have the inverted wing back on the supportive duty, on balanced on the trigger press, sit narrower, roam from position, cut inside with the ball, shorter passing and cross less often. I'm going to show you the player instructions a lot more in depth in here because I am going to recommend some sort of tweaks as we go along and I'm going to show you the tactic towards the end of it if I remember. Hopefully I do, but this is going to be just what I would recommend you have on and some of these positions I'm going to say recommended things you can change. First right sided centre back is going to be a ball playing defender, simply on defence and he's also going to be obviously on the default hold position take more risks and shorter passing now I will say with this if you are playing as a dominant team a PSG a Bayern Munich a real powerhouse I would recommend at least on one of the ball playing defenders to have dribble more on so that is a perfect example of what I am going to show you so if you are playing as a top team definitely have that on. The middle central defender is going to be a central defender, simply on defend, on the default balanced, hold position, shorter passing, shoot less often, and dribble less. So this is going to be your real sort of rock solid centre half, which is simply there to defend, doesn't have to play about the ball too much at all. The left-handed sided centre back, obviously to make up the, the left side of the back three, is going to be a ball playing defender, again on defend, on balanced, on hold position, on shorter passing and obviously the default take more risks again same thing applies you can use dribble more if you are playing as a top team when i played with psg for example i had both ball playing defenders on dribble more because we are the powerhouse in the league therefore you can play like that but if you are playing a sort of an underdog team keep it simply as you see in the video and on the left hand side is going to be the inverted wing back on support exactly the same as the right hand side so i won't repeat the instructions again but just having these both exactly the same and nice and defaulted pretty much done exactly what I want them to do anyway and they weren't too over committed so they were also doing defensive work but also they were linking up the play going forwards as well and when you see the next layer of defense you gonna understand why it works so well just in front of those inverted wing backs this is going to be on the left hand side we're going to have a wing back on attack on balance to get further forwards stay wider run wide shorter passing the default being the cross from the byline cross more often take more risks and also dribble more so what happens here is you're going to have the inverted wing back is going to be naturally narrower and this wing back is going to be wider so they complement each other really really well and you can have you can honestly have some really good pass and play sort of linked up between these two layers and just having that wing back that is going to be getting further forwards and really providing is a much needed thing when you're trying to play with a back seven you need some width and you need some form of attack on the wide areas and this is where this guy comes in it's going to be exactly the same on the right hand side the same instruction exactly the same and again it works so well on the left replicate it on the right hand side as well there's no real reason to change or anything you can change when it comes to this role I wouldn't recommend going in with a supportive sort of mentality you need to be attacking because these are the players that are going to get majority of your assists now the midfield was a bit of an ache it took me a while to get a midfield that was going to work and this is what I've come up with so on the left hand side to a midfield is going to be a box to box simply on support on the default instructions that obviously being balanced in terms of this and also run from position now a couple of tweaks you can make here and there if you are playing as a dominant team you could obviously have get further forwards on and sort of commit that midfield player to getting further forwards and helping out your striker you are going to score more goals this way but obviously you are also going to be naturally more vulnerable prone to counter attacks 
etc etc so that is one bit of advice if you are playing as a dominant team get the box to box a little bit more involved but that's really the only tweak i would recommend next is going to be next to him the deep blind playmaker on defend a really big fan of this role i cannot stress that enough At the end of the day this role is perfect he defends but also is going to be progressive with his passing and obviously is going to play the ball a little bit more direct to that striker up top and he is going to be simply on balanced hold position and standard so again he's going to be your natural default instructions for that defensive deep line playmaker and these two work so well you browse all of my tactics i often sort of have this partnership together and again it worked very well with this finish it off the cherry on top is going to be the advanced forward coming in on attack on balanced move into channels standard so the default but the one additional instruction which you can see here highlighted in the green is going to be shoot more often because i know if you're playing in the system like this whenever you get an opportunity near the goal you need to be shooting so make sure that is selected because you don't score tons of goals with this system obviously but it does defend very well but you still need that element where you are going to score a couple of goals and that's where this comes in so going over to the team instructions it is going to be set off a direct counter-attacking style and the attacking mentality you need that attacking mentality because if you're too balanced with this system you're not going to score any goals at all and you're simply just going to be defending 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 whereas on attacking you do counter-attack you get into some sort of scenario where you can have a shot at the goal and as you can see we scored enough goals to win league titles and that's all that matters but going over to the approach play definitely going to be pass into space this is by no means a ticky tacker tactic we're going to go direct and that is as simple as that of course we're going to overlap left and overlap right because the fullbacks play probably the most vital role in this team stay in wide overlap and creating chances for that one striker up front if you don't have this on you're not going to see as much of a sort of aggressive approach from them wings and it's something you simply need on and of course we are going to play out from the back because we are we've got two ball playing defenders at the end of the day we want to have them actually be used correctly and we've got loads of players back there to pass it from side to side and build up slowly so why not have it on it works very very well the standard pass and directness is going to remain exactly as it is the tempo is going to actually go down to slightly lower so it is going to be a very easy to play tactic on your players not very strenuous at all again we're not sort of a pressing team so you can get away with playing a lot of the same play is matching over and over and over which is obviously a very good thing to to do if you are playing with a sort of low league team because you haven't got great depth anyway in terms of the final third mixed crosses but also hit early crosses these wing backs i'm not expecting them to obviously be roberto carlos cutting and crack one top corner they're simply going to be attacking and getting balls into the box and that's all we can ask for hence why we've gone for that approach we're going to play for set pieces i would recommend you download my set piece folder you can do so for completely free by the discord so be sure to join that we are also going to have run at defense and this is ideal because it just encourages that counter attacking play in transition there are going to be four things selected that is going to be regroup when position has been lost to beat them we're going to have pretty much five six seven we're going to have a back nine in some scenarios so i can't stress how defensive this tactic is and it is more of a challenge tactic but surprisingly it actually can work so yeah, I'm not claiming this is going to score you 20 goals every single game, but it is going to be rock solid at the back. And in terms of when we've got possession, we are going to counter, of course, because that is where we get the goals from. We're going to distribute to the centre backs while taking short goal kicks. So literally set up just to hit on the counter. And now in terms of this standard line, we're going to rock the standard defensive line, the high press and line of engagement because the mid block is a little bit too negative, Negative, sorry, in my opinion. The trigger press is going to be set up to more often and also we're going to stay on feet. We're not going to commit to too much. So not too much of a press and aggressive style in any aspect of this tactic at all, meaning it is very friendly on your players and much more of a sit back, soak up the pressure, then bang, hit on the counter. But this is going to give you a very good looking tactic right now you can see right now this obviously is going to be a direct counter just just to clarify that but this is going to be what it looks like obviously on paper very very negative as you would expect and essentially you have the back five here you have another layer of fullbacks or wingbacks should i say but these are more sort of wingers they often you're going to see probably in the, the intro highlights the wingbacks were sort of playing up here so it does sort of shape up to have wingers in some aspects of the game these two in midfield are going to be one consistent of sort of defending and plucking out long balls to either the overlap and wing backs or in behind to the advanced forward and the box to box is obviously there too get forwards but also more importantly come back and defend when and if needed and the back five 
pretty much are there simply to defend. And that is going to give you the brick wall tactic. Definitely a challenge making this, but I do like the challenge tactics. So be sure to keep them coming. Comment below any tactics you want to see me try and make in FM24. All your requests now are going to be done on FM24 100%. So be sure to comment below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like, drop a little subscription below and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you boys in the next video, which I think is going to be... We'll do one more tactic, I believe, and then we're going to try and fit in another rebuild. But enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.